Hi friends, please subscribe to Amravati Media and press the bell icon for more latest updates. Andhra Pradesh 3, Jagan Mohan Reddy Garu to share his views on this issue. Thank you, sir. Greetings to the Honorable Prime Minister, Central Ministers and other esteemed leaders across political parties. At the onset, I'd like to express my deepest anguish over the death of our 20 brave soldiers who displayed exemplary courage while protecting the sovereignty of our great nation. At Galwan Valley on Monday, 15th June, 2020. I, on behalf of my state, salute their supreme sacrifice in the highest traditions of the Indian Army. My heart goes out to the families of these brave soldiers. I strongly urge the leaders participating in today's meeting to stand shoulder to shoulder with our extended bereaved families. But sir, in today's nuclear era, sir, the world is changing. Wars are not fought through military might alone. but by international clout, diplomacy, trade restrictions, sanctions, and international pressure. Sir, here let's not forget the fact that there were no weapons used, and also let's not forget the fact that, th that there were a few unconfirmed casualties on the other side as well. Having said this, sir, everybody present in this meeting will agree with me that ever since 2014, sir, thanks to our Honorable Prime Minister, our reputation and our image throughout the globe has taken a huge leap forward. Thanks to Modi ji, our Honorable Prime Minister, he has embarked on a mission since 2014 to make India an economic and diplomatic powerhouse. By extensively visiting nations across the world and building strategic partnerships, which actually propelled India to the forefront in this era of strong international relations. This has established India as a global power to reckon with and a lighthouse for other nations. Sir, we have gained prominence in the global sphere and it is quite evident from the Honorable Prime Minister's most successful foreign policy initiatives, which has secured our membership in the top three international control regimes for missiles, arms and bioweapons, namely Missile Technology Control Regime, Vassiner Agreement and Australia Group. Further, Honorable Prime Minister demonstrated his visionary leadership at the UN Security Council by securing an unprecedented support of 184 member nations out of the total 192 member nations. This kind of numbers to support our cause was never seen in the past. This monumental achievement speaks volumes and reflects greatly on our Honorable Prime Minister's outstanding skill as a global statesman. So this is our strength, sir. You are our strength. The contacts, the, diplomat the, 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 the diplomatic relationships, what you hold, this is our strength. While this was the positive side, sir, on the flip side, Due to India's glorious growth story under your regime, India has also gained envy of many, sir, who have tried to destabilize India through indirect forces. Despite such pressures working against us, we have emerged victorious time and again. With your capable leadership, sir, which is quite aptly displayed through your swift and just response in the horrendous Polwana 
attack, or be it Doklaw and Ishusar, or India's success story in declaring Masood Azhar as international terrorist and our resounding victory when International Court of Justice, by a vote of 15 to 1, upheld India's claim in Kulbushan Jadav's case. All these speak volumes of your capability and also your astute leadership, sir. And I'm confident of India, of India's future in your able leadership in this situation as well, sir. Sir, I'm closely following this situation building up in Galva and Wali, sir. However, as the intricate details of the incident and the relationships between the two countries are better known to the central government alone. So here I would not be very specific or prescriptive in my advice, but I'm pretty sure, sir, that even in this situation, you would use your wisdom and diplomatic connections most aptly to find a solution to this predicament as well. Most, in the most amicable manner, appreciated by all. Having said this, sir, I stand by you in these testing times, not only as the president of YSR Congress Party, but also as the Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh. I would like to convey the wholehearted support of the six crore people of my state, sir. All of us are behind you, sir. I have complete faith and trust in your able leadership, and I'm confident that you will navigate the nation successfully even through this Galvan crisis. And India will emerge even more stronger. India will emerge even more resilient. Surpassing these testing times, whatever strategy you put forth in place, we will firmly stand by you, sir. Thank you, sir. Jai Hind, sir.